Let's read a book about peace. It's called Peace Week in Miss Fox's Class. In it, Miss Fox challenges her class to a week of spreading peace. Peace Week in Miss Fox's Class by Eileen Spinelli. The children in Miss Fox's class have been fighting and fighting day after day. Okay, that does it," said Miss Fox. "We're having Peace Week." Mice piped up. "What's Peace Week, Miss Fox?" "For one thing," replied Miss Fox. "No one fights for one whole week," Frog said. "What else, Miss Fox?" Miss Fox sat on the edge of her desk. "It's your Peace Week." You design it. Any ideas, children? No fighting, called Bunny. Don't say mean things, said Raccoon. Help others, said Squirrel. Very good, children. I think you have the idea. Let Peace Week begin. That afternoon, Squirrel's big sister yelled at Squirrel. Stop bouncing nuts against the gate. You're giving me a headache. Squirrel wanted to yell back. He wanted to say, "You're not the big old boss of me." But this was Peace Week, so Squirrel bounced marshmallows instead. On Tuesday, Bunny wore her yellow sweater to school. Whole cat poked fun at Bunny. Here comes Bunny Banana, he teased. Bunny wanted to poke fun at Whole Cat's green sweater. She wanted to say, "Here comes the pickle." But this was Peace Week, so Bunny said. My yellow sweater is cozy warm. Your green sweater looks cozy warm too. On Wednesday, Mouse went to the playground. A bunch of little mice were fighting in the sandbox. That's my shovel. That's my bucket. Mouse wanted to walk way、right、past them. She wanted to swing on the monkey bars and have her own fun. But this was Peace Week, so Mouse stopped. She sat in the sandbox with the little mice. To show them, if they work together, they can make a bigger and better sandcastle. On Thursday, Frog's frisbee bounced into Mr. Turtle's flower bed. Mr. Turtle scolded Frog. Frog sighed. Mr. Turtle was such a grump. But this was Peace Week, so Frog said sorry. Then Frog said, "By the way, Mr. Turtle, my mom thinks you have the prettiest garden in the neighborhood." Mr. Turtle looked so shocked that Frog thought he was about to get scolded again. But Mr. Turtle said, "I'm glad somebody noticed." He smiled as he clipped the loveliest rose off the bush. "Give this to your mother, and don't forget your frisbee." On Friday morning, Mama Bear said, "Who will fetch the honey for our toast?" Young Bear was making a paper airplane. He told his sister, "It's your turn." Sister Bear was cleaning out her backpack. She said, "Yesterday was my turn. It's your turn today." Ah、uh、ah!、Uh, said Young Bear. "You did not fetch the honey yesterday. Yesterday we had bread and jam." Sister Bear replied, "So, so it's your turn today. Is not. Is too." Suddenly, Young Bear remembered. This was Peace Week. He said, "Let's make a chart. That way, we'll be able to keep track of who fetches the honey." Sister Bear nodded. Okay with me. But who will fetch the honey now? I will," said Young Bear. As soon as I test fly my paper airplane, Sister Bear said, "No, let me do it. My backpack is clean now." On Saturday, Raccoon went to watch her favorite soccer team, the Rinky Dinks. She wore her gray and pink jersey. Possum was there too. Possum was wearing her blue jersey. Possum was cheering for the blue comets. Every time the blue comets made a goal, Possum would pinch her nose, turn to Raccoon, and chant, "Gray and pink, Rinky Dinks stink!" And so, when the Rinky Dinks won the game, Raccoon made up her own chant. "Wow, blue comets! Oh, blue comets! Who is stinky now, blue comets?" But Raccoon kept it in her head and didn't say it because it was Peace Week. Instead, Raccoon patted Possum on the back and said, "Good game." Possum gave Raccoon a little smile. Maybe we can sit together the next game. On Monday, Miss Fox heard all about Peace Week. I was nice to little mice," said Mouse. "I worked things out with my sister," said Bear. "I made Mr. Turtle smile," said Frog. 
Miss Fox beamed. Good job, children. I say we celebrate. Miss Fox reached into her big bags. Out came streamers and balloons. Out came oatmeal cookies and apple slices. I like peace week, said Mouse. Me too, said Bunny. I have a great idea, Squirrel grinned. Let's make every week peace week. And so they did. The class learned that being peaceful can be fun. And each student focused on spreading peace. Do you think you could have a peace week in your home this week?